this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Um, I just wanted to give you a comparison of the brand new update for Touch Chat with WordPower version 2025.5.0 in parentheses 14 close parentheses. This came out yesterday, December 3rd, 2025. And because I happen to have a secondary iPad, I always test the waters first there. I've learned the hard way <laughs> to test things out first, not on my main iPad, but on my secondary one. And sometimes there's awesome new features. Sometimes there's glitches. Sometimes there's things that the company may have perceived as being fine, but aren't necessarily fine to particular users. So I always test the waters first. And I like the new automatic backup option that they have. That, once I did it a couple times, seemed to go pretty smoothly. Would I rely on that as my only backup for heavily customized AAC? No, I would not. Um, because it appears to only be saving to um, files. I used iCloud and it was defaulting to saving directly in the Apple files there on the iPad versus a folder out in iCloud off the device. Um, I haven't tried the other options for Google Drive or Dropbox just because I don't have as much storage space available there. Um, but just me, if I've spent a lot of time customizing something, I'm going to back that sucker up in multiple ways, multiple ways outside of a device. So I may back it up to a thumb drive, USB thumb drive. I may back it up to OneDrive. I may also have it in my Apple files. So I would encourage folks to not solely rely on that new automatic backup, although it's great that it's there. It hopefully will prevent folks from losing customized files. But what I want to point out today that was a bit unexpected, and I don't think the company probably viewed this as being necessarily a problematic thing, but to me it is. And it's much more noticeable in person than if I were to take a screenshot and show you. So this is my secondary iPad here in this kind of yellow greenish case on the most current version. And this right here is a vocab file that I sent over from my main iPad. So, cause I wanted to show that this isn't, you can't fix it by just sending over a, another file. Okay, let me zoom on in. See how pronounced the grid is now, and especially in areas. Okay, take this off and get up really close. Those now look funky to me. I'll probably go back in and edit those to not be quite as pronounced, but just the grid in general is very pronounced now. And there's not a way in the settings to there's nothing toggled on that caused this. That's just the new look of it. And we've already expressed concern to the company that it would be nice to have a way to revert back to how it looked previously. And let me get back up on here and I'll show you on my primary iPad. So I'm gonna show you side by side. This is how it looks now. You don't have any control over how, um, and I guess you maybe could edit by, but button by button, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to update my main vocab file. All right. Whoops. I wanted to show. All right, so this is my main iPad. It is still on the previous version. So the version right before yesterday's. And I'll show you the same vocab file in there. So this is how I'm used to it looking. 
kind of just a normal thin grid line. I made slightly thicker around buttons that I wanted it to be thicker. And here's how it looks now. Now, one thing I do like about the new look is that the symbols take up more space in the buttons. So that's a good thing, I feel like. But how thick that gray grid line is, <clears throat> again, could be helpful for some users, but I've already seen a few adult AAC users talking about that that drastic of a change, here's what it used to look like, here's what it looks like now, it was just very jarring to them. And I can see why, after seeing it in person on my own iPad, again, whenever you see it in person more zoomed in, you can tell a significant difference in the look. So I hope at some point soon that PRC Satillo offers a way to choose. Do you want it to look like that? Or do you want it to look how it had looked before? Um, it would be nice to have the option to have grid lines thin like that, but still maintain the larger icons that the symbols take up more space in the buttons. So um, anyway, if you work with AAC users and you feel like this visual change is going to be dysregulating to them, then I'd hold off. I wouldn't update yet. I would just continue to do your own backups of your customized file and hold off and hopefully the company will offer, offer a way to give this visual look again as an option. Hope this helps.